little time. They head down the long back straightaway. But watch this 77 to Kuroge. He's been really fast on this long back straightaway, using the draft to try to pull alongside Blaney. He's right there, Phil. Boy, this is deja vu of a year ago. See Ryan Blaney oh, to the outside. outside. Kuroga to the outside as they head to turn eight. Blaney trying to hold him off. Kuroga going to have the inside preferred line as they go to turn nine. Herman Kuroga takes the top spot. Blaney tries the crossover. Here they are at turn ten. Herman Kuroga trying to pull him to the start finish line as they come to the line. Checkered flag. Ryan Blaney by a nose. Unbelievable. You Brad Keselowski, the leader, coming back to the white flag. The next flag ends it. If there's a caution now, the race is over. Amaro is pushing hard on Larson. Larson sideways into the oh, wall. Man. There he goes. That's that same wall. Will they let him race back? No caution yet. Sparks for Eric Almarola. He's got a flat tire, I'm afraid. Brad is way out there. If, if any if any of these guys get a good run, Brad is in, in trouble here. The track is clear, and they're going to race back to the checkered flag. We talked about the... And here comes Ryan Reed to the inside. Team Penske, Jack Roush, they've never won here in the Xfinity Series. One, two, three. They're all four to the front. It might be too soon. Reed trying to block his teammate, Chris Buescher. Here's the checkered flag. Ryan Reed wins it at Daytona. What a finish. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Back live at Daytona and this celebration. Ryan, every kid dreams of racing here. You've won. Can you describe just the excitement, especially on that final lap in the past? I mean, four years ago, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I told I would never drive a race car again. And now I'm standing in victory lane at Daytona with Roush Fenway. And I just can't thank Lily Diabetes and American Diabetes Association. Everyone who sports drive to stop diabetes enough. Oh my God, we won Daytona! I think they're going to have a hard time, even though Logano has a big run, getting back Kirk and Kyle Busch right here. I don't know. Looks like they might have a run. They do. Back down, come back down, come to back walk. down. Cut the other way. Half a lap to go. Here comes Stewart in the 33 as Logano goes to the point. Three wide in turn four. A squeeze to the outside wall, trouble in the corner, hard, vicious crash, who gets through to win the race? Caution flag has just been called, the race leader is James Butcher in the 30 car. Unbelievable. A heavy, heavy crash in the final corner of the race. Kyle Busch's car, Trevor Bain, Ricky Stenhouse. It looked like Stewart tried to force it on the outside. Not, a, not quite enough room to make it happen. Well, he had the room. I think that maybe Joey Logano moved up to try to block that progress. Do they have enough fuel to get back? Final lap of Daytona is underway. Forty-two is on your tight. Joey Logano getting the run on Regan Smith. Here comes Casey Kane to the five. Ryan Sieg in that 39 car up through the middle. Jeremy Clements into the picture. All going on behind Regan Smith. Can he hang on? Will the fuel last to the finish line? Here they come to the checkers. On the outside lane, three wide to the win at Daytona. Wow, what a finish. That was incredible. How did he do that? Unbelievable, the move that he made right there. Good job, guys. Good car. Watch this. In February, Regan Smith won by 13 one-thousandths of a second. 
Casey Kane just won by 20 thousandths of a second. I believe that's Ryan Sieg that's pushing him across the line there. What a great job he did. It's gonna be tight. Two laps to go. Remember, seven of the last 11 Talladega races decided by a last lap pass. Boyer and Harvick coming again on the high side. Yeah, Boyer got, he got real tight on the, the side of the 16 car, but it's paying off. Drag race down the back right there. But they can't clear the Fords and protect the bottom because Edwards comes storming back on the inside. Well, what else it does is opens the door for these two cats right here who have timed it out pretty darn good coming to the white flag. And there comes their teammates as well. Johnson and Earnhardt Jr. White flag this time. Those have been the two best cars right there. Most of this race. They're the, just now showing it. The bell lap and the man who started up front leads it. Jeff Gordon. But here comes the next two pair that these two cats right here, they may have timed it out too. Let's see what happens down the back. Now they will get a draft off Mark Martin. And here's the slingshot to the outside. Stay together. That's what they're saying. Stay together. Push, push, push. Gonna get tight down here in turn three. Don't forget Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. Fifth and sixth. They are there. Which group will they go with? And will it help the Jones cars? Or will it help Jeff Gordon to victory lane? All bets are off. They get to the middle of the trial. Watch out down low. Way Good down run. comes Johnson. Good run. He's got room. They're three wide. Three by three uh, to the line. Johnson. Maybe Jimmy Johnson. I believe he got him by an inch. Two one thousandths of a second he beat Boyer. Okay, a sixteenth of an inch. Have you ever? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. No, we have not. I have never, never seen buddy. anything like that. Two to go. Two to go. Oh, my gosh. Two, Two to go. Two to go. Kyle Busch is one second back, Earnhardt second and a half, Carl Edwards is two back. Hamlin is there, boys, he's there. He's stalking him. I believe Hamlin's a scotch better. It seems like he has a bit of an advantage down in turn one and two. Teammates last year, rivals this year. Friends, maybe never. To the but Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin are going to settle this right now. Well, Hamlin cut him some slack. He had a run on him. Oh, Hamlin. Joey got loose. He got a little sideways off the floor. There you go. Hamlin gave him a shot. Outside, barely. Outside. Hamlin there. Logano to the bottom, trying to hold his ground. That's going to be tough, though. But he, he's been running good on the bottom. If he can just clear Hamlin right there. No way. He's going to lose his momentum. They're going to touch hard. Are they going to make it? Make it back. Got on the back. Side by side. Kyle Busch pulls again. Watch out for the third place car, Kyle Busch. He's looking. Hamlin edges ahead. They get it. They touch. They touch. And here goes Kyle. Hamlin with the battle on the ball. Hamlin spins down the racetrack. And Kyle Busch wins in California. I thought they'd be nice to each other. They weren't. Hard impact on the 11 car. Head on. I don't like the looks of that. Hard hit to the inside wall for Hamlin. A bounce off the outside wall for Logano. White flag in the air at Daytona. Regan Smith to the outside. Keslowski pushing him. That's where that side draft comes into play. You can see Sam Hornish coming off the bumper of Stewart. Oh, oh the center. Bowman pushed by Klingerman. Somehow they got out of it and saved it. Hornish now back behind Stewart. Up to the outside, two is Brian Scott. See, Tony Stewart just pull his way through there to get an opportunity, and he's gonna have it too. Final corner at Daytona. Who's gonna get here first? Regan Smith, seven. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact! Smith turned around. Tony Stewart is gonna win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. This is a big, big wreck. Car with the front end severely torn off. He's bailing out of the car.
front of that car did pierce the catch fencing, shy of the start finish line. You see some of the others involved. Green, white, checker at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Here comes Reddick. He's got a good run going. He's going to jump to the inside. Casey Kane denies him. Eric Jones can't get away. Side by side as they go down to turn one. Looked like Kane spun his tires a bit, but man, did he recover. Boy, he's, he did. He's right beside Jones. Can he get the push from Reddick? Matt Crafton working that outside lane. I'm not sure there wasn't a little contact there. Kane on the inside trying to make the pass for the lead. Off of turn four, they'll see the white flag this time by. We're side by side coming to the white. It doesn't get any better than this in NASCAR. Final lap. Next, next flag ends it. Whether it be the caution or the checker, advantage Casey Kane into one. Eric Jones stays right there, right in this quarter panel. They're dead even off of two. This is intense. Those guys want it so bad. Who's going to have the advantage? Kane eking out in front as they come off of turn four. Jones trying to power to the outside. Here they come, back to the start-finish line. It's going to be a photo finish, sliding sideways at the line. Casey Kane wins it in Charlotte, and a huge crash behind him. first. I haven't heard from NASCAR yet. By one thousandth of a second, Casey Kane sideways gets the victory. Wow, what a finish. Unbelievable. Coming to the white flag. I'll tell you, the two cars close that gap. I don't know if he's that or if he white thinks he might have a flat a tire no or something like here. that. He's really moving the car around. It doesn't look very stable right now. One lap to go. Kyle Busch, defensive line into turn one. There's something wrong with the 18. Now Ambrose trying to get second from Keslowski while he tries to get the lead from Kyle. Oh, Contact in the S's. It's wide. Got Dangerous spot on the track for Kyle to be sideways. Looks like he gets off to the guardrail. No caution yet. Here's the race for the lead. Keslowski's got damage on the left front. Is the tire going to make it all the way around? And will the nine help him? Oh, Everybody's in the grass. grass. No, no yellow here. Dig, dig, dig. That dig, might dig. have been the race right there. We'll no. see. No, Keslowski's slower. <laughs> Keslowski's got a problem. Trying to stay with Ambrose. Two final corners. Do they use the bumpers? A nudge, a push. Can Ambrose save it? To the checkered flag! Who gets here first? Clear, clear. Ambrose, nine, Keslowski, two, final corner! Marcus Ambrose is going to win at Watkins Glen in a remarkable last lap turn of events. Jeff Gordon in the wall. That's off the final corner. Down, he's going to make a down. He's going to get down under him. That's not the way to do it. I don't know. Come on, baby. Come on. Side by side. Two laps to go. Somebody's got to give. Get into turn one. Nobody. And in the wall goes Bush. That's not. That was not a very good idea. Look at the crossover move. He got into it. Come on, clear. Good job, man. Hang in there. And here comes Blaney. Blaney oh, is oh. now the best car on the track. Oh, baby. I'm telling you, Kurt Busch is not going to give up the win. No, he's not. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. Ricky Craven's not going to give up either. Come on, Ricky. He gets that run on the high side out there. Kurt Busch is going to be struggling with his race car. Here he comes. Here we go again. He's going to wait on this. He's going to put the cross on me. He realized that wasn't a good move that last time. White flag. Here he goes. He's going to try to slide under him here. Come on, baby. And Blaney's coming. Both these cars are driving terrible right now. Not allowed to go. Nah, they're driving good. Come on, baby. You can do it on this end of the speedway. Come off the court and get up alongside of him. Half a mile Here to he go. comes. Here he comes. 